Hey guys, what's up? It is like Benno here. Um, as you can tell, I'm kind of sick right now. I uh, have a fever, so yeah, let's get right into this. Um, well, obviously, you're gonna open up After Effects, so you can either go to File, Import, File, or I like to just do this. You can just hit Control I on the keyboard. Yeah, okay. So here, like, let's see. I have this clip. Okay, so import real quick. So you drag this clip. <coughs> um, there's actually, uh, I hate it when it does this. Okay. Either you can drag it onto here, you can drag it onto here, or you can drag it maybe onto here, I don't know. But I normally just do it right here. Um. Okay, so here I have a new composition. Wait, have I already rendered this one out? Um, yeah, I think I did, but I don't know that I did it right, because it seems a little long. Come on, After Effects. I don't know what's going on, but After Effects normally isn't near this one. Okay, so something we can do. Oh, this is loading. Um, come right here to scale. Hit that. Oh, hit S on your keyboard. It's a little shortcut to open up scale. Make it 101 because you see like these little black bars around here. Um, hit Enter and then see there aren't any black bars. So then that makes it easier for the editor to um, edit the clip actually because I am an editor and I know. Okay, so let's see. Coming up to here. Why is my After Effects being like this? Ugh. Okay, so... Let's see... If I, maybe if I bring it down to... Quarter a little faster. Okay, so this seems about right. Okay, coming up from the line. Yeah, right about there, that works. So whenever this is done being gay, I'll show you the next thing. Okay, so take this and you drag it roughly to where your marker is rather than hitting Control shift d and having to split the clip and delete it. Um, like you delete it and you drag this over and you have to match it up and everything. Um, and uh, if you want to know, you can just hit Control z on your keyboard. That's how I just brought that back. Control z Okay. And then you come right up here. Composition. Trim comp to work area. See, and now it's just right there. Okay, so. 
Now, we're done trimming it and everything. Um, okay, so best settings. Um, it should be best and full. And then size, right there. Uh, 1280 by 720, so it should be. And then if your comps frame rate is not 59.94, then the Twixter is going to have a lot of warping and it's not going to look nice if you're an editor and you're Twixtering things. So go into your settings on your PS3 or Xbox and make sure that the Twix, the Twixter, the display settings are set at 720p. Um, and then make sure you hit audio output, otherwise there isn't going to be any uh, audio. Oh yeah, and the setting is H.264, which is like, right, yeah, like it starts out ABI, H.264. Okay, so. This needs to be saved to my episode, and then I'll call it, um, Catwalk, because I did a catwalk in it, I got the kill with it, and then you hit caps locks on your keyboard and you hit render and that is it and the reason you hit caps locks is because if you don't it previews each frame up here and then it takes it a lot longer um yeah well that's really it peace out